So in this video, what we will do is that we shall learn how to use uh, the desolve feature of MATLAB 2020B by using the this uh, diff command and then specifying the equation by using this double equal sign. So here we have these two equations that are our differential equations that can be solved analytically. For example, uh, you know, this is uh, Bernoulli's equation, but we are going to see what the uh, MATLAB is, how MATLAB is going to help us solve it. So what we would do is, first thing we would do is that first we shall solve it for dy dt so that we can use uh, the diff command, okay? And remember this, MATLAB uh, wants natural log to be written as log, and then we have minus y divided by t, all right? So let's go ahead and give this expression to MATLAB and uh, then see what it gives us as a solution or the solution, okay? And of course, you can see from here by observation, a y equals zero is a, a trivial solution here, okay? So when you open a new MATLAB window, okay, uh, that's how it would look like. And we are going to use this uh, live script. So let's ask for this new live script here. And here is a live script for us. So first what we would do is that we shall define, we shall say that y is a symbolic function of t and then we are going to define equation. I mean, I'm writing EQN as MATLAB does, but uh, you know, you may write something else if you would like. And now by diff y, it would automatically take it as, uh, as the derivative of y with respect to t. Now remember, I'm going to put the double sign and then I'm going to put the numerator of my equation. Remember what it was? y square log t minus y and that divided by t. So I have specified the differential equation. Oops. I have specified the differential equation and uh, why does it not? Let's just put t like this because for some reason it didn't like t the way I was writing it. So that's all right. And then we would just say desolve the equation and see what it gives us. So, okay, now just enter when we are working a live script, uh, it's not going to give us any output. So I have to press control and then press enter and then, yeah, you can see it's a starting to work. So here are the solutions, the two solutions that we have. One is y equals one over this quantity, and the other one is the trivial solution, and that was y equals zero, okay? Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to see that how we are going to get a solution where the solution might come out in implicit form. So let's go to the example two of our list. So here we got this equation and I mean, you know, we are dealing with situations in which things are easy to handle. So here we can factor the uh, numerator. As you can see, what we will get is that uh, we shall get t times y plus three, then just factor the negative sign, we get uh, y plus three, here we get t times, sorry, y minus two, and then factor of four, you get y minus two again. So if you go ahead and finish the factoring, what do you get? You will get y plus three times t minus one, okay? 
and then y minus 2 times t plus 4. So here you can see that, uh, I mean, we'll go to MATLAB in a moment, that we can't have t equals negative 4. Okay, we can't have y equals 2, right? And at the same time, if this is 0, then you can see dy d, like if y equals negative 3, then what will happen? dy dt will be 0, and this expression will be 0 as well. So y equals negative 3, you know, that's a trivial solution. And the other solution we can just go ahead and find by separation of variables. But what we are going to do now is we are just going to go to our live script. Sorry, I didn't mean to lecture you before that. So anyways, and let me make a little bigger. Okay, so here. So this time I'm just going to do this. Uh, equation, I'm just going to call it equation 1, okay, because equation we already exhausted, or we could have created a new folder, whatever your pleasure was, and uh, let me do this here, that hide it on to that side, and then I'll bring it back, and what we had was, our equation was uh, t times y plus 3 times t. I've just written it down and I don't think that I can memorize expressions like this. Okay, divided by t times y minus uh, 2 times t plus 4 times y minus 8. And remember this, we still have to put uh, this uh, asterisk for the multiplication sign. Now, when we are going to use d solve, okay, so we shall have equation. This time I want the equation 1, okay, and, uh, and then we shall type implicit because we are expecting an implicit solution, and this is what we will do at the end. True, and then press Control Enter. Okay, let's see what it gives us as a solution. Okay, all right. So the solution is, uh, this is an implicit solution, and the other solution is y equals negative 3, as we had seen uh, when we were calculating it, uh, you know, without MATLAB. All right, so here is a way to get it in, uh, in the implicit form or this solution in, implicit form. Now we are going to look at this equation. Uh, this is a second order equation uh, where we have an initial value problem and we want to find a, an infinite series approximation of the solution of this equation. And you can see uh, this initial value problem will have a unique solution. So let's get that in the in a series form, okay? So here, I brought both these right here so that I don't have to write this in a separate form. So what I'm doing here is this, that we are writing a series, an infinite series approximation of the solutions of this equation. Uh, and let's say we are writing it in the powers of t. So what we would do is uh, this, that is, we will again go ahead and uh, define an equation, okay? So this time, let's say this is equation 2, okay? And the equation 2 is now what we have. Uh, we have the second derivative of y, which by default it's going to treat as d2y dt square. And then we got uh, sine of t, right, times the first derivative of y, right, plus y. And we are going to move it to this side so that, uh, or we can leave it on the other side. I didn't do that. Let me not do that here. 
I'll, I'm just moving the other portion to this side and then we will put that double equal sign here. Okay, so here we have our differential equation defined and remember this is very important to do in the beginning. Okay, so next what we have to do is remember we have to put the initial condition. So we have to define a y prime zero. So what we will do is this that we shall just define uh, dy as, okay, or rather just a second, d of, uh, or rather dy of x as, what, the differential, or not x, sorry, it's t, right, diff, y t we already had it there but i just did it here so anyway so this is the this is what we define now in order to get a series solution the way we will use d solve is this that we have oops sorry i don't know i was typing somewhere else i have so many windows open so we will go d solve and this time we will go to equation 2 all right, and now that we are asking it in the form of a series, so we'll just say expansion point so that we get it expanded as a series. And since we are expanding it in the power of powers of t or say that of t minus zero, our expansion point, we are putting the center at zero. And what was our y0? Our y0 was given to be 8, right? And uh, then uh, we have d. Remember, we defined dy at t. So we will just say dy at 0 is how much? That's a negative 3. And I am making a mistake somewhere. So, oh yes, right, remember this, we have to put double equal signs here, right? Okay, when we specify these, now I, I shall just say control enter and see what comes up, okay? So let's just enlarge it and see what solution did it give us. Okay, so here is the answer and I think by default, we didn't specify any order, it went up to the power. 5 so and it went in the descending order all right so say you want uh, like say you wanted uh, say up to the power 9 so since one term is constant uh, you may specify this uh, expansion point you may say order okay all right and so say we wanted it up to the power 9, so we can say order 10. We'll say control enter. All right, let's see what it gives us. Yes, so it gives us the uh, this value here, you know, starting with 8 and t to the 4, t to the 6, and up to t to the power 9. So that's how you would get a series approximation. All right.